Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is November 11th, 2016, and we are days away from a super event called the Super Moon. I went ahead and compiled some information pertaining to the Super Moon and why we're going to be so lucky this year, November 14th, to witness this event. When the moon orbits the Earth, when it's within 90% of its closest approach and it's also a full moon, that's what we call a supermoon. But this supermoon is the closest it's been since 1948. And so that means that it's actually going to be bigger and brighter than uh, ever before. And we're not going to have one this spectacular until 2034. So I'm hoping everyone gets a chance to go outside and take a look. Wow, 1948, so that goes back all the way to the Truman administration. Okay, so if it's something this special, clearly it's something we don't want to miss. What's the best place to see this? Well, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, mm -hmm. go outside after the sun goes down, and when the moon is up, then you're going to get the show. You're going to see a moon that's 14% bigger in the sky and 30% brighter. So it's really going to be amazing. You know, you know what's insane about this is this has been uh, one of our neighbors in space for years and years, yet there's so much about the moon that remains a mystery to us. I understand NASA has had a craft that's actually been orbiting the moon for the past seven years. What, what have we learned about the moon? Well, so you make a great point. It is our neighbor, and so it's a great place to study not only our close environment, but also the solar system as a whole. So we've had the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which has given us this amazing view, incredible detail. You know, we see these huge craters from uh, impacts on the moon, but what we found from LRO is that the moon is changing far faster than we expected. So for example, the astronauts' footprints, we would expect them to be around for maybe millions of years, but because the surface is being changed so quickly by bombardments from space, it's probably only going to be tens of thousands of years. And that seems like a long time, but actually on these timescales, that's really, really short. Step outside on October 16 and take a look at the moon. Not only will the moon be full, but on that day, the moon will be at its closest point to our planet as it orbits Earth. This makes the October full moon a supermoon. The term supermoon has entered popular consciousness in recent years. Originally a term from modern astrology for a new or full moon that occurs when the moon is within 90% of its closest approach to Earth in a given orbit, supermoon now refers more broadly to a full moon that is closer to Earth than average. But why is the moon closer to Earth at some times but not others? Since the moon's orbit is elliptical, one side, perigee, is about 30,000 miles closer to Earth than the other, apogee. The word syzygy, in addition to being useful in word games, is the scientific name for when the Earth, Sun, and Moon line up as the moon orbits Earth. When perigee syzygy of the Earth-Moon-Sun system occurs, and the moon is on the opposite side of the Earth from the sun, we get a perigee moon, or more commonly, a supermoon. This coincidence happens three times in 2016. On October 16 and December 14, the moon becomes full on the same day as perigee. On November 14, it becomes full within about two hours of perigee, arguably making it an extra supermoon. The full moon of November 14 is not only the closest full moon of 2016, but also the closest full moon to date in the 21st century. The full moon won't come this close to Earth again until November 25, 2034. The supermoon of December 14 is remarkable for a different reason. It's going to wipe out the view of the Geminid meteor shower. Bright moonlight will reduce the visibility of faint meteors five to tenfold, transforming the usually fantastic Geminids into an astronomical footnote. Sky watchers will be lucky to see a dozen Geminids per hour when the shower peaks. Oh well, at least the moon will be remarkable. How remarkable? A supermoon or perigee full moon can be as much as 14% bigger and 30% brighter than an apogee full moon. However, it's not always easy to tell the difference. A 30% difference in brightness can easily be masked by clouds or the competing glare of urban lights. Also, 
There are no rulers floating in the sky to measure lunar diameters. Hanging high overhead with no reference points to provide a sense of scale, one full moon looks much like any other. Low-hanging moons, on the other hand, can create what's called a moon illusion. When the moon is near the horizon, it can look unnaturally large when viewed through trees, buildings, or other foreground objects. The effect is an optical illusion, but that fact doesn't take away from the experience. A supermoon is undeniably beautiful, and we can multiply that beauty by three as 2016 comes to a close. October 16, November 14, and December 14. Mark your calendar and enjoy the supermoon light. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. Would also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.